Hi guys, I had a request to do a close-up uh, video of the 3D printer working and I did. What I did was quite simply just rest the camera right there. Normally I have it mounted on this tripod. But I thought we'd go for a close-up so I mounted the camera literally just sitting there and filmed what was being printed and it worked fine so I thought I'd do it again the second time it nearly went disastrously wrong because the nozzle was up at this height and it reset itself back to um, the home position before it started unfortunately the camera was there so when this came down it couldn't go to the home position and it was jamming on there it's banging away trying to force itself to go home so that was well that was disaster luckily nothing broke and it all still works so I thought how about if I had something just clipped on the end then I could do a nice close-up so the video that I'll show you is me 3D printing, uh, actually it was 3D printing that one but it doesn't make any difference, 3D printing the bracket that I'm going to use to show you or film, try and do this with one hand, 3D printing. So that fits just there. It's just a push fit. Worst case scenario, if something did come in contact, that should just push out the way. And it's positioned so it's not past the edge of the plate or the bed. So at no time should that actually come back far enough. There would be a problem if you're printing right up to the very edge. I very rarely print that close. I'm usually printing somewhere in the middle here. So I'll show you the film or the video, the time lapse video of that printing. Whether I'll ever use it again, I don't know. Um, it did look quite nice. Unfortunately, the camera stopped before it had quite finished. So it only goes up to about here. We don't see the final top layers going on. It was just an interesting little project. That one, if we compare the two, you'll see that one's got a deeper slot on it than that one. So that one actually does go in a bit further, so it's a bit closer to the head. This one's just a bit further back, and I might do a third version to take it even further back, because the focal length of that camera means that when I'm printing right in the middle there, it's just out of focus. So it would be better if it would just a little bit further back so I might print a version 3 because the end result did look quite nice even though it's just a little bit blurred it was an interesting concept the one that I did with it just sitting on here because you can see all of this going backwards and forwards as this slides in and out unless you're focused on the bed if you're watching what's going on in the background it's quite unpleasant to watch whereas end on here all you've got is the wall at the back there so you don't get so much movement this thing's whizzing about in front of you but uh yeah that's uh that's what i've been up to here
Hi guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked watching that one, you might like that one up there. And if you like that one, you might like to subscribe over there.